Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to talk about open lineage and open source framework for data lineage collection and analysis. Now before we dive into a small hands-on lab let's talk about what is data lineage right. Data lineage is the roadmap for your data. It shows you where your data comes from, how it is transformed and where it goes. Having a clear understanding of your data lineage is essential for maintaining data integrity, compliance and making informed business decision. So for the data lineage, we are going to talk about the Marcus project, which is a data lineage for every pipeline. So uh, I want to read uh, this one over here and then we can go into a hands on lab. What is Marcus, right? Marcus is an open source metadata service. It maintains data provenness. Um, you know, shows how data sets are consumed and produced, provides a global visibility into job run times, centralizes the data set lifecycle management, and much more. Uh, so over here uh, on the on the home page, as you can see, uh, Marcus project has a beautiful front end. It shows you this nice graph and it shows you, for example, this particular uh, you know table was derived from this and this was derived from this particular source. So it gives you a complete visibility, right? It also gives you a, a complete lineage, right? How, uh, so for example, particular given table, how was it derived? When was it created? What columns are there, etc., etc. So I think what would make sense is a simple uh, lab. So what we will do is we'll spin up the Marcus project using Docker and then we'll integrate that using Spark. So let's do a simple hands-on lab and go from there. All right, so to do the lab, uh, we are gonna first clone the repository. So I'm gonna come here, click on copy and then head over to my terminal as you can see. And then we'll say git clone Marcus. So this is gonna clone the project in the current directory. Now head over into the project directory. And now what we want to do is basically you want to spin up the stack. So let me copy my snippets. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, we got to start this on both this one. All right. So now we will spin up Marcus project. We're going to say dot slash up dot shell, which is our shell file. And uh, basically we're going to start there on the port 9000. Okay. I think we first need to go inside the file docker. There's a folder called docker here. cd docker ls, yep. And now I will run this. Now this will basically build the docker image. It's gonna start the backend and the frontend. So now let's wait for a couple of minutes to uh, for the containers to start, okay? So these containers are now up and running. And if you go to localhost uh, 3000, you'll see a beautiful UI. Again, right now there's nothing to show. Uh, so let's learn uh, a simple hello world, right? So now what we'll do is we'll learn how to integrate uh, data lineage into our Apache Spark jobs, right? So let's get started with a small lab. So first I'll be declaring all the imports. Uh, pretty straightforward, Spark session, Faker, OSS, UID, date time object, okay? Uh, now over here, this is important. Uh, I'm using Hoodie 3.4, uh, uh, sorry, I'm using Spark 3.4 and the Hoodie version is 0.14.0, okay? And the open lineage Spark version, I'm gonna be using 1.8.0. And this is the package, as you can see. And then I submit both the package, which is org.apache.hoodie, hoodie Spark bundle, and the um, io.openlineage colon open lineage hyphen Spark and the version, right? So I submit the package. Now, this is the important part over here. Now, focus over here. So these three config, uh, sorry, these four are uh, for the hoodie, as you can see, and uh, all the configs below that is for the, uh, you know, a Marcus project, right? So here you can see we define um, the backend URL, which is on HTTP localhost 9000 slash API slash V1 slash lineage, right? Now, this particular job, I'm naming this job as customer job, right? I'm giving it a namespace Apache hoodie because these are all Apache hoodie job. And then I'm giving a parent run ID, which is a UID. So this will make sense, okay? When we create this hoodie transactional data lake, I'll show you uh, what it looks like in the UI, okay? So let me show you, man. Let's let's let's, let's just see, okay? So let's create the Spark session over here. I am gonna create the Spark session. As you can see, the Spark session is now being created. Again, same thing. I have a class called Faker, which will generate some fake data set, right? Uh, hopefully, we'll wait for this to complete. Again, we have a Spark data frame. Uh, we have a simple method to write data into hoodie transactional data lake, right? And now what I'm gonna do, before I run the write to hoodie method, right? I wanna show you 
I don't have anything here, right? So now I'm gonna come here and write the data. So now you can see we are writing the data, you know, you know, in a, in a regular fashion into Hody transaction data lake. But now the beauty about Marcus project is it's gonna show us the 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 the, the data lineage, right? So uh, I'll show you. So let's wait. It's complete. Uh, hopefully works. Uh, I will re uh, uh, I will refresh here and then probably go here. And here you can see. So here you can see I have a Python job called customerjob.py, uh, which uh, this this job created this data set. Uh, again, if I can click here quickly, uh, I can see all the columns here. Uh, you know, it automatically uh, you know was able to figure out all the columns. As you can see, here are your facets. Uh, actually, there's a lot more here. Uh, you can see the version history uh, created at when was it created, right? Uh, you know, so all those details you can see that you can also see the I/O details and column lineage. I did not have it right now, but again, hopefully you got the idea. Now, what I want to do, guys, is basically uh, I will stop the Spark job. Now, uh, from this hoodie table, basically what I will do is over here, as you can see, I'm creating a new table um, called average salary. So basically, I'm doing some aggregate. I'm basically creating a new table. Now, what I would wanna see is since this table is created from the hoodie table customer, uh, when I go to the Marcus project, the UI, I should see the uh, I should see the graph, right? So the source, which was customer.py, which generated the hoodie data set, and from that hoodie data set, we are now generating this average salary um, table, whatever you wanna call. It. Okay, so now, so I'll run this code over here. As you can see, now the code is in the running state. So let's wait for a second or two. I think it's done. So now let's go here. Here, look, you see what I'm saying? Look, so from this customer, we made this hoodie and there's one more job that is reading from this particular table and then it created this particular table, right? So you can see the columns um, and their appropriate data type. So hopefully that, that, that made sense, right? You hopefully you got the idea, right? So now go back here. Again, you can also uh, see the job status, whether it's completed in the running state, et cetera, et cetera. So basically you can monitor all of that. Now I want to conclude the video here. This is, uh, you know, a simple lab which shows you about data linear with the Apache hoodie and Marcus project. Uh, but again, uh, I, I think the best way to learn anything is to try it out and, you know, go to the GitHub, read more uh, over, over there if needed, you know. Also, uh, let me quickly actually show you. So if you go to Google and if you try to go for open data lineage, you will see this amazing website. And then you can go to docs and then from the docs, you can probably uh, head over to integration, Apache Spark, and you can come and read more about it, you know, all the options and all the settings, etc. So I hope my video gave you a good starter guide, right? To get started with uh, data lineage and, you know, Apache hoodie Spark jobs, right? Uh, I'll leave all the resources in the description section below. So if needed, you can go and check those out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll also leave all the reading resources in the description. There, there are also a lot of good YouTube videos that I found uh, that I was watching to learn uh, more about the Marcus project, right? So I'll leave those resources for you in case if you want to dive deeper into the, 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 the subject or the topic, right? So thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something uh, new out of this. If so, do give a like, uh, share the video uh, with your coworkers and colleague. And I would probably see you in the next uh, video.